Hi, I'm Jimmy Riley on Giles Island. Today I want to share with you some of the things that I've learned over a lot of years about tracking, blood trailing, and recovering a, a deer that you've shot. First thing you need to do is reload that gun and get back on that deer. If he's still moving, you keep slinging lead until he stops. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way, and I've seen some other people that, you know, want to wait. They think they made a good shot, always oh, going to die. Next thing you know, you don't find a deer. If you're bow hunting or you're gun hunting and the deer runs out where you can't get another shot, you need to pay attention to where that deer runs. And you keep a, a dialed in on that. Because if you don't have a blood trail, that's at least a good starting point for you to go. Pay attention to how he runs off. If you shoot a deer and he jumps up, kicks his back feet out, and he skedaddles out of there with his tail tucked, you hit him pretty good, probably. You probably go out there and pick that deer up. But if he, but if he runs off with that, that flag just a waving, it's probably a clean miss. If that deer just hunches up and, 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 and just bows up and just kind of tips off, more than likely that's a gut shot. Okay, so it's very important to pay attention to everything you can at that moment. Forget the high-fiving. There is a penalty for celebrating after the shot. Okay, you may not recover that deer if you don't pay attention. So next thing to do is how, how long should you wait before you go look? The safe thing to do is to wait about 20 or 30 minutes. It doesn't matter whether you shot him with a rifle or a bow. Wait about 20 or 30 minutes, get down, go to the point of impact. If it's a bow shot, you want to try to find there. If it's a gun shot, you see what kind of blood hair you got right there on impact. Start your trailing process and you want to find out any clues as to where you might have hit that deer. Because finding out where, where you hit the deer is going to let you know whether you should pursue that deer at that point or whether you should wait. You want to look at the blood. What type of blood do you have? Now if you've got a, a, a pink type blood with some bubbles, kind of frothy blood, that's a good sign. That's probably a double lung shot. Hopefully a double lung, not a single lung. You can go out there and pick that deer up. If there's blood, pink, bubbly blood, that's gonna be a long shot.